Okay, he's like, you guys. It's been a while since I sh since I've shown my face. Cause here I am. Yeah, I'm not I'm not ugly. <laughs> I just I just don't like showing myself, you know. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update. As you can see, the skies are more clear now. Um, and actually, there seems to be a little bit of breeze coming in, which is good because we need that to we need that we need that to f um just you know f flush away all that smoke but i still feel bad in other parts of the country like australia and oregon and you know all of those places still have heavy smoke uh, yeah so just getting back to you guys from the last video. I don't, you know, I don't really have a topic, really. I just wanted to get on here and say hi and see, you know, show you guys. You know, we have, we have frickin' blue sky again. Yeah. It's the sun. That's what my body looks like. You know, and I've been trying to work out <laughs> my stomach. It's hard. It's really hard because if if you're not used to if you're not used to exercising, you know, if that's not in your like daily regimen, your daily routine, your, your daily routine, it's just really it. You know, it can be a challenge, especially for someone like me who hasn't really taken it upon herself to like really. Um, you know, just like stay, f stay within like a, like a constant, constant, um, routine with the working out and all that. <clears throat> mm. Okay, well, this is, this is random, but, um, so me and my guy, we were laying in bed and stuff, and, you know, I saw this woman on his phone, you know, he was watching, like, a show, like, it's a show that she came on, you know, and, you know, her name's Stacy Stacy Dash, and, like, I'm looking at her, and I'm like, wow, like, she is like the epitome of like the perfect woman, you know, like, like every guy, like any man would want to be with her because she's so attractive, you know, and I just find it crazy, like, like, I'm thinking to myself, well, like, what if I could be that attractive, you know, like, like her body is freaking perfect, her face is perfect, her hair is perfect, everything about her is perfect, and it's just like, wow, this freaking, this Stacy, this Stacy Dash girl, woman, like, every, every guy would, would want her, you know, because <laughs> she's that attractive, and it's crazy, and it's like, well, like, I'm looking at myself, and I'm like, well, like what? A, like what if I was that attractive? You know, of course she has to have the, um, you know, of course every woman with the um, the lighter hair and the lighter eyes phenotype is automatically more attractive for some reason. Like I don't know. I just think that's how people, per you know, think. You know, when they see a beautiful woman, you know, but um. 
you know, and she, and she looks smart, too, and she, it just seems like she has everything, doesn't she? But it's just like, when I look at my face, and I look at my body, it's just like, well, if I was as attractive as her, you know, that would be crazy. You know, and I'm, I'm only 32 years old, I'm getting old, but... You know, she, she must be older, though, and she still looks like she's, she still looks like she's, like, in her mid-twenties, you know. Oh, she's crazy. But anyway, this video is, ra this video is random. <laughs> it's kind of, I know I go into, like, spirituality and stuff like that, but this video is going to be, I know, it's off topic for sure. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and say hi and, you know, show my face. Because I know I haven't shown my face. Hope you guys are doing okay out there. Hope you guys... Hope you guys aren't taking this COVID-19 thing so serious. Um, hope you guys are able to breathe um hope, I hope you guys are able to breathe natural air and not shitty smoke air it's, been, it's just crazy it's just crazy what's been going on right now yeah this is, this is the natural me see I need to do my eyebrows this is me without makeup too Here's, here's, here's myself after all this time. And me and my guy were gonna go to, uh, we were gonna go to his grandma's birthday thing. And then, I guess, like, roll around town. Uh, you know, I still, I still live up here in Mule Town. <laughs> See, now the sun is completely, it's completely out. There's no smoke. No ha no hazy smoke, as far as I can see. You guys can see the road. see Arlo Monk, he's been posting videos, and, uh, you know, sometimes Arlo, Arlo, he can be, <laughs> he can be really random, like, I see him post videos, and I'm like, Arlo, what are you doing? You're just going around, <laughs> you're just going around talking with the phone pointed towards the street. <laughs> You know, he shouted me out once on uh, on his channel. It was it was like it was like a few years back. It was like probably like six years back. You know, he uh, he made a video about me, and um, I also I also got I also have that audio he did about me on my MP3 on my MP3 player. I have that downloaded on there. But, like, back then he called me, um, Daughter of Thorin, you know, and that's what I, that's what I called myself back then. Now, now it's like, it's so, it's something totally different. It's, it's just so different. Like, I've just, I've been through, like, so many, like, I've been, I've been through so many, like, spiritual alter, altercations. It's not even funny. Like, your higher self just, like, tends to change, like, so much. Like, once you're going through it. Like, your higher self just, like, becomes, like, all of these, like, alter... All of these different altercating, altercating beings. If that makes any sense. 
because you're you're going it's because you're going higher up in your consciousness so so your um your avatar changes like <clears throat> have you tend to notice that like like once you're going through all these spiritual thi like awakenings and stuff like your like your altar or your persona seems to change um avatars um once you go up higher like spiritually higher in the um you know in consciousness and everything like you'll tend to have a higher self and then you'll tend to have like different aliases for yourself as you go through this whole thing and you know and that's what I went through you know that's that's what I'm still going through now you know I used to call myself daughter of Thorin because I saw Thorin as a fa as a really strong father figure and I used to call him I used to call him father because I saw him as <clears throat> I saw him as the perfect father figure like that I could possibly have as a role model you know and I wanted to you know I spiritually wanted to follow him and I still am but now now I'm his wife you know yeah, now, now I'm his wifey, and, um, you know, I, I try and, you know, I try and do things to, um, you know, to physically please him, spiritually please him in any way I can. If that's weird, I'm sorry, I just, I just needed to come out with the spiritual, <laughs> the spiritual talk again. Yeah. So anyway, I think I want to end the recording. Hope you guys found it interesting and I'll upload it on my channel. I hope there's sound. <laughs> upload videos without sound. I'm like, oh, dang. Shit. It's not fair. Jesus. <laughs> well, I hope you guys, um, <laughs> hope you guys found this video interesting, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, you guys. Have a good one.